So this is why it's important to stay on top of your hygiene recur. One reason, number one, is your gum, health of your gum. There's a lot of blood vessels touching those gum tissue that if you don't clean it, it causes inflammation. That inflammation causes bleeding. And that's why when you go to the dentist and you don't normally floss, every time you floss, it bleeds. Now, another reason you want to stay on top of your hygiene recare is to stay on top of cavity and, and, and development of cavity because when they're small, you want to address them early before it gets bigger and cause you more treatment. But when you miss your appointments, then if there is a cavity, it just grows and gets bigger and bigger. Number three is cancer screening. Almost all dentists that you go to, we do cancer screening every time you come in. So if there is something with cancer going early, we want to detect it early so we can take care of it early before it develops and gets worse. Those are three reasons you want to see your dentist regularly and get your teeth clean. All right, let's look at a tooth that's healthy versus unhealthy tooth, okay? We have a tooth here, we have bone here. Bone and tooth are connected via these little ligaments. And what keeps these together is bone density and the amount of bone that you have on around your tooth. On here, you can in, uh, on this picture, you can see on this side, we have a really nice high bone level. On this side, we have a low bone level. As a result of that, you have a deeper pocket here and you have a smaller pocket here. When patients come to dentist, we use this instrument called probe. It's divided into three millimeter increments. And these three millimeter increments, actually we go between your gum and your tooth and measure this depth. Anything from one to three means it's healthy. Anything more than three is not healthy and you're gonna have a hard time cleaning that area. Once it gets too far deep, if this gets down to the bottom of the root or almost about here, you cannot save the tooth and there's no way you can clean down there. So that means you're eventually gonna lose your tooth. Now, how does this happen? When you don't come to dentist, you start forming plaque and bacteria, little microorganism sit right here and they start developing and they start growing there you still don't come to your dentist they get bigger and bigger and now they start getting harder these are those tartar or calculus buildup around your teeth the buildup around your teeth produces toxin that the toxin actually causes resorption of bone as bone resorbs this gum tissue attachment goes away and goes farther and farther and farther down like you see here this bone used to be all the way here as it went down the gum tissue attachment went farther and farther down now once it passes three once it gets four or five because it's too far down and you cannot clean it it actually starts getting inflamed and that's another reason that sometimes you floss and you see bleeding As that grows and causes more and more of resorption of bone, it gets to the point that you can't clean it anymore. Now, why should you come to us? Because we can clean that once it's built up here and prevent inflammation of gum, which is gingivitis, or prevent that bone loss before it gets there. Once you lose it, you lose it. So once you lose this bone, it's gone. You can't build that back up. So before it gets there, you want to come to us, you want to come to your hygienist and make sure we get these clean so that this attachment does not go farther and farther down. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more tips about your teeth and your dental health. If you don't have a dentist, we would love to see you if you're in this area or out of state. If not, make sure to call your dentist and see your dentist. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go. Ha <laughs>